I used to work at FedEx and was a delivery driver. This was many years ago now, but I will never forget it. I drove for them for almost five years. It was a pretty good job and I got paid decently. I've always enjoyed driving and considered myself to be pretty good at it. When I worked for FedEx, I also worked pretty close to the city. I would be assigned to a certain area usually and then deliver packages there. I had a route where I would make anywhere from 60 to 100 deliveries in a day sometimes. Most of it was smaller packages to houses and apartments, and every now and then, a large package. My truck was the standard size, so it was kind of big, and at first, driving it in some of these streets was tough. Near the city, it can be a lot of cars parked on the side of the street, and some streets are also very narrow. But eventually, I got used to it and drove everywhere no problem. One time, I was working a little bit later. My route took a while longer than usual, and by now, it was like 7 p.m. I was almost done, but still had more stops to make. After stopping and dropping off a package at one residence, I began driving to my next stop. I drove down a narrow street that was pretty quiet. A car was driving behind me at that point, I remember, and I went down a couple of the other streets. Probably five minutes later, I turned into a quiet back area of an apartment building. When the car that had been driving behind me turned there as well, I found it strange. I had delivered to this apartment building before, so I knew that packages were delivered in the back. And that was just basically a little more than an alleyway. The building had parking out front, as well as underground parking. It was confusing the first time that I delivered there, but I quickly found out. So I delivered the package, and then got back in my truck to see that the car was still there behind me. It was parked as if it was waiting for me. A four-door sedan, silver color. I didn't pay much attention to who was driving though. But they had enough space to go around me, so it was sort of weird. When I kept going, they started to drive after me. I was wondering if they were trying to follow me for some reason. I turned out of the street behind the apartment complex, making a right. This road was very narrow, and the side of the apartment was to the right, and a park area with a sidewalk was to the left. All of the cars were parked on the right side of the street on this day. Now, this road was quiet, and didn't have anybody else on it other than the parked cars. That is, until I had just started to drive down it and suddenly a car in front of me that had been parked turned left. The car then stopped, completely blocking the entire road. I had to stop my truck and was wondering what on earth this person was doing. Meanwhile, the other car was still behind me. I was now completely blocked in. After the car in front of me didn't move for like 30 seconds, I sensed trouble. Then two of the back doors opened from the car that was in front of me. I saw these guys start to get out and walk towards my truck. It was in that split second that I made a decision and turned my truck to the left and started driving. It was a tight fit and I went up on the sidewalk just a little bit, but I made it around the car. Luckily for me, the curb was a little lower than some of the other ones. I didn't know if I would make it for a second, but I got around the car and then turned back onto the road. Then I sped up and turned to the right on the next street, which was a little bit busier. The cars remained back there on the other street. After that, I was able to finish my route, which had already been running late. I was watching behind me the whole time, but didn't see those cars again. Looking back, I have to think that was some kind of a setup. I'm still impressed with myself that I was able to maneuver around the car like that. Like I said, I no longer work for FedEx, but I will always remember that night. I'm a delivery driver for Amazon. Several months ago, I had a really weird experience. The route that I was driving went through mostly this one city. And as you know, countless people use Amazon Prime to buy items. So I often found myself delivering to a lot of the same houses time and time again. A lot of them blended together for me because they all looked similar. But there was one house in particular that I remembered. It was in a pretty average neighborhood. The street was quiet and there were lots of houses on both sides. Most of the houses had about the same size front and backyards. I delivered to one house, sort of about halfway down the street. The house had two floors and a big tree out front. When I delivered a package there, I would walk up a walkway that was in the middle of the front yard leading to the front step. 
Then I would set the package on the front step and go back to my truck. But I remember one time delivering there, as I was walking up to the front step, I saw somebody in the top window. There was a man looking out and just staring at me. It was the creepiest thing because the way he was staring at me was very intense. I saw him walking up and was instantly weirded out by it. After I dropped off the package and walked back, before I got inside my truck, I looked and he was still staring at me. The guy was tall, thin, and that's about all I could really tell. Several days later, I had another delivery to the same house and only realized that it was the same one when I saw the guy again. He was in the same place, looking through the window, staring at me the same way as before. The very next day, he had another package and he did the same thing. I thought this guy was very strange. Then, a few days later, I had another delivery to make there. By now, I knew it was the house and I was already expecting to see the guy staring at me. I looked up to the window, but he actually wasn't there. That was a nice change of pace. However, as I approached the front door, I saw a piece of paper was taped to it. I read it and it said, please deliver package to back door today. Gate is open. There was then an arrow pointing to the left. I thought this was strange. I wasn't sure why they wanted the package at the back door, but I looked past the weird behavior of the guy and thought maybe it was just a valuable item that I was delivering or something. Maybe one of his packages had been stolen in the past. I walked to the left and saw that at his property, the entire backyard was all fenced in. The fence wrapped all the way around to connect with the ends of his house, and the fence was also about seven feet high, and not chain link, but a solid material, so you couldn't see inside at all. I walked through the gate, and the backyard was pretty normal looking, just grass and a few trees and plants scattered around. I walked along the side of the house until I got to the back door. I set the package down on the ground right outside of it and then started heading back for the gate. But when I got there, the gate was now closed. I tried opening it, but I couldn't get it. It was like somebody had locked it from the outside. Then I walked to the other side of the house to see if there was another gate on that side. Sadly, there wasn't. I was walking back to the gate when I saw the man was now standing outside of the back door to his house. He was just staring at me again. My heart started racing. I wasn't sure what to do, so I just said, I tried going out that gate, but it won't open. The man didn't say anything. He was not staring at me as intense or creepy as before, but he was sure coming across as strange still. He then pointed to his back door, which was already open. He was signaling me to go inside of his house. I really didn't want to, but I also didn't know what else to do. So I walked forward and then went inside. The man then followed me in. When I got inside of his house, it was pitch black almost. Every single window was covered up completely and all of the lights were off. I just walked straight ahead. The whole time I was so nervous that something was going to happen, like the guy was going to whack me on the back of the head or something. I could just barely see, but I did see that the front door was ahead. When I had made it there, the man was still walking behind me, but he didn't say or do anything. I reached for the handle of the front door, afraid that it would be locked like the gate but this one opened up. I made it outside and then was on his front step. I then walked quickly back to my truck and when I was almost there, turned and looked behind me. The man was still inside of his house, but standing right inside the door, staring at me. He was smiling the creepiest smile I've ever seen. I got in my truck and drove to my next delivery, trying to calm myself down. When I made it back that day, I begged my boss to change my route. I told him about the crazy guy and luckily, I was able to change my route with a coworker. I didn't have to go to that guy's house anymore. Several weeks later, I found the coworker who took that part of my route. I asked him if he noticed the guy staring or anything, but he told me that he hadn't noticed. I was glad that maybe the guy stopped doing that, but I also found that strange. It made me wonder if his strange behavior was targeted at me specifically. Looking back, I still don't know what the guy was doing. Why he always stared at me and then locked me in his backyard, I don't know. I still get the creeps thinking back to it. Last year, I was at home one night. I live by myself and have a house in a quiet neighborhood. 
I was in my living room at 11 o'clock at night watching TV. During this time, I remembered that I looked out the living room window and I saw a UPS truck on the street. It was parked sort of between my front yard and the neighbor's front yard next door. I found this odd, but didn't think too much of it. I kept watching TV until maybe midnight. Then I got tired and decided to go to bed. I got up and turned the light off to the living room. That's when I noticed that the UPS truck was still there. I was wondering why it was parked there. On my street, everybody has a driveway, so there are usually not very many cars parked on the side of the road, if any. I had never seen a UPS truck here at this hour and I was unaware of any of my neighbors working for them, and it certainly was way too late for a delivery. Still, I just shrugged it off and went to get ready for bed. Several minutes later, I went back to get something and noticed that the truck was still there. I stopped and just looked at it, still curious. But it was at that moment that I actually saw a man get out of the truck. He was wearing a full UPS uniform, of brown pants, a brown UPS jacket, and also a UPS hat and sunglasses. It was like he was making his normal deliveries, except it was midnight. The guy was holding an average sized square box in his hands and then started walking down the street. Obviously, I kept watching him. He then reached my driveway and started walking up. Now I was getting kind of nervous. I didn't know why he was going to my house. I also hadn't ordered anything recently. He walked up my driveway and then over to the front door. Then he looked around and set the box down. Following this, he reached into his jacket and pulled out what looked like some kind of a crowbar. That's my best guess as to what it was. Now this was really concerning. He then took the crowbar object and put it up against the edge of my door. When I saw that, I ran over towards the front door and turned on the outside light. When the light went on, the man concealed his crowbar device back in his jacket. Then he simply turned and started walking away. He calmly walked back to his truck, got inside, and then left. I called the police and told them what happened. About 10 minutes later, when the cops got there, they checked the box that the guy left on my step. It was completely empty, just a regular square cardboard box. I told them everything I could, and they said that they would look out for a UPS truck driving in the area so late. Now, about a week later, I found out that a man was caught in connection to several robberies in my area. I wasn't even aware that other robberies had taken place. It turned out to be the same guy that was at my house. At first, they thought he worked for UPS, but soon found out that he didn't. He had worked for them years prior, but was no longer an employee. I guess he posed as a delivery driver to stake out neighborhoods, and then would return at night. He broke into multiple houses within a mile of mine. No doubt mine would have been the next one. If I hadn't turned that light on when I did, I don't know what would have happened. I now realize that he was probably just sitting there, waiting for me to go to sleep. Why he chose my house, I still don't know. But when I turned the light off, he must have figured that I had gone to bed. I feel very grateful that I dodged that. I'm a mail delivery driver for the post office. It's a job that I really like, and I've done it for many years. But by far, my craziest experience happened about a year ago. As part of my route, I go to several apartment buildings. One in particular is a complex with four buildings all right by each other. There's a road between the buildings and then parking spaces on the side of the road in front of each building. When I deliver there, if there are no spaces, I just have to park kind of in the middle. I try not to block anybody's cars, but sometimes it's kind of close. One time I went to that apartment and there were no open spaces. I tried to make sure that I wasn't blocking anybody and then I parked and went inside one of the buildings. I then came back out and delivered the mail to the building across from it. When I got back to my truck, I saw a man standing there looking angry. When I was walking over to my truck, he already started yelling at me. He was saying that I was in the way and blocking his car. The guy seemed like trouble right away. It seemed as though he might have been on some sort of drugs as well. Anyways, I told him that I left him plenty of space because I did, but he just kept yelling at me. I told him that I was moving now anyways and I started walking to go inside of my truck. He followed me there 
cursing at me the whole time. There was no reason for him to be so angry. He seemed like just a really angry person in general. I told him to calm down, and I said he had no reason to be so upset, but that was just like adding fuel to the fire. After I got inside my truck, I started to drive away from him. I wasn't even listening to what he was saying. He then went into his car, which was parked at the end, and left. But when he left, he made sure to screech his tires as he sped out of the parking lot. He also came within probably a foot of hitting my truck when he did so, and of course was flipping me off as he passed. I was just glad that he was gone, and then I delivered to the final two buildings in the complex and then left. I was really confused as to why the guy was so angry. The next day, I delivered to the same apartment, and I had sort of forgot about it. This time, though, there was a parking space that I could use. I parked and went inside of the building to deliver the mail. I was in there for a couple minutes, and when I returned to my truck, saw that it was all messed up. When I delivered mail, I used to have a bad habit of leaving my door open. It was faster, and nobody had done anything before. I know it was dumb, but now it seemed as though somebody had come in and just thrown everything all around. It was all disorganized now, and the mail was out of place. I had a pretty good idea of who had done it also. I was really angry, but tried to reorganize everything. It took a while, and I got behind schedule, but eventually I was able to move on. After this incident, I emailed the management of the apartment building about the guy. I didn't think they would do anything, but thought that I should still let them know. They did respond to me, saying that they would send an email to the residents. Well, sometime the next week, when I was back at that same building, I parked in a space and delivered the mail. After I delivered to the last building in the apartment complex, I returned to see that my tires were slashed. I couldn't believe it. I looked around and soon saw the same guy. He was standing just outside one of the apartments in a patio area and laughing. I couldn't hold back my anger and I walked over towards him and started cursing him out. He then got all angry back at me and started threatening me. He said I was lucky he only went after my truck. I realized at that point it was pretty dangerous to provoke this guy and I walked away. He was still yelling at me as I did. I got back to my truck and called the police. They arrived sometime later and arrested the guy. And the cops and the man seemed to know each other by name, which tells me it was not his first time doing something dumb like this. After that incident, I never saw him again. I found out that he didn't even actually live at that apartment complex and the place was his ex-girlfriend's. It blows my mind how he could get so angry but hopefully the guy gets the help that he needs. I used to work as a delivery driver and I would drive a truck all over the place. This story takes place years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. It had been a long day of work and I was making my final delivery for the night. I arrived at a business and went around back to where deliveries were to be made. I parked where I was supposed to, but I was a little bit early and the back door was closed. Behind the building was a back area of a small parking lot that was mostly empty. There were some dumpsters and overall it was very dark and quiet. I noticed a man walking by back there. I got out and went around to let the business know that I was there. Then I went back and opened up my truck. It took a few minutes but I was able to complete the delivery and brought everything inside. After that, I got inside my truck to drive back. It took about 20 minutes to get back to my work. When I got there, I parked my truck and was starting to walk away when I heard a strange noise. It was later and I was the only person in that particular area, so it was strange to hear a sound like that. But also, it sounded like whatever I heard came from inside my truck. This was really odd so I decided to go over and open up the back. When I opened it, I saw a man standing there. I realized that it was the same guy that I had seen walking by. Somehow, he had gotten in my truck. After the door opened, he jumped out and just ran past me. Then he started running away, seemingly as fast as he could. I had no idea what to do. Soon, the guy was out of my sight, running down the street towards some other buildings. I'm pretty sure I just stood there out of disbelief for a while. I had no idea the guy had been in there. After that, I just finished up and went home. I still can't believe that it happened. I'm really glad that that guy wasn't dangerous or anything. I'm not sure how he snuck in the back of my truck or why. 
There was a stack of crates back there that he was able to hide behind, and that's why I didn't see him when I closed the truck. To this day, it's one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me.